The president promised sequestration would affect air traffic controllers, and Friday the FAA announced some of what will happen. 149 control towers closing next month. They're mostly at small airports, like this one in Frederick, Maryland. Post video journalist Zoanne Murphy spent the day at the Frederick Municipal Airport as they prepare to close their brand new tower. The tower is the future of the airport. 2010 is when we actually constructed the tower, and then we opened up May 1st. To uh, Huey helicopters departing the Alpha Bravo gear section. Departure from the grass zone, risk, use caution. The FAA said you need the tower to do the safety, but now they're saying, well, you know, 10 months later, you really don't need it. So um, it's, it's the world of mixed messages. They said that the stimulus program was designed to 100% pay for these projects. All they're really doing is adding to the rank and file of the unemployed. Their political posturing is affecting lives here in Frederick, Maryland. You have seven air traffic controllers of the seven five are military veterans who have served their country during foreign war. These are professional air traffic controllers. What else are they supposed to do? We are actually one of the busiest airports in Maryland. Uh, we have 130,000 annual operations, so we're really just second behind BWI. The only towered airport that's going to be left open in Maryland is BWI. So that's where everyone's going to be going. You're going to have Cessna 172s mixing in the traffic pattern with scheduled airline service. We're adding to the mix over there when that's not our job. Our job is to relieve traffic from BWI. We are a BWI reliever airport and on top of that their controllers and their radar folks are dealing with furloughs as well. America is disgusted by all this, absolutely disgusted. Um, there, there's no reason why this should be happening. We've been told that the closure will occur on April 21st so um, you know until April 21st we're you know we're going to continue to make phone calls and continue to fight for the future of our airport. So Lori Aratani, who wrote the print piece uh, on this story, joins us now. How did they choose these 149 airports? So there are a variety of criteria, but one thing to know about these is these are all FAA contract towers. So these aren't staffed by FAA personnel. If they were, they'd have to give a year's notice. So because they're contractors, they're able to shut them down starting April 7th. Um, they're also, they tend to be smaller airports that have fewer than 150,000 takeoffs and landings each year. Um, the FAA said they, they did that in order to try and have uh, the smallest impact on, on the traveling public. This airport in Frederick, as we heard, has only had the tower for less than a year. He got it as part of the stimulus. So do these tiny airports that haven't had towers in the past actually need them? Well, their argument was that yes, they did, and they had a number of reasons. Um, Frederick serves as a reliever airport for BWI, so a lot of the small plane traffic and maybe corporate jet traffic that might go into BWI or Dulles would instead go to Frederick. A lot of them won't fly into an airport that doesn't have a tower, so Frederick was hoping that by having a tower they could attract more of that traffic. Also, uh, B, uh, Frederick is located about 20 miles from Camp David, the presidential retreat. Um, presidential helicopter sometimes lands at, at Frederick, so they also had a national security argument. They felt their proximity to Camp David was a the reason they deserved a tower. Kevin Doherty from the airport mentioned in the piece how they uh, serve as a relief airport for BWI. I wonder if the closure of these small airports poses a security risk for those of us who fly through these major airports that will be more taxed by these small flights. I don't know that it will be a security risk so much as it might be, a, it might be more crowded. It might just mean you might have to wait a little longer if there's a lot of air traffic. It might mean their commercial jets may have priority, so if you're a small pilot, you may have to circle longer or wait longer to get in line. There also seems to be, as Kevin Doherty pointed out, this waste of money that three and a half million dollars would have spent on something that now just gets shut down. Yeah, they, the Frederick community spent 10 years lobbying for this tower. They felt great. They got about 5.3 million dollars to, to build the tower. Um, they just opened it last May. They were very excited. It's, it's a beautiful facility. They built it to expand. Now, 10 months later, they're shutting it down. 
And is this something that we should assume will continue unless the sequestration level funding returns or maybe with the new budget it gets changed? Well, that's, that's the question is there are, there are several lawmakers. There's uh, Senator Jerry Moran from Kansas who's um, taken this on as a big issue, the contract towers. Um, and he's hoping to introduce legislation, I think, at some point to maybe try and undo some of the closures. Um, they'll be closed for the rest of this fiscal year. What happens in the next fiscal year is up to debate whether they'll be restored. I know Frederick certainly hopes they will. Okay, Lori, thanks a lot. Sure.